Hi, this is Regina Y. Favors with Overcoming Setback Inspiration. So I wanted to uh, get you to think about journaling your setback as a way of engaging uh, what the problem was um, and how you would need to develop a strategy for moving out of setback. So this is something that I use in my classes. Uh, I teach English college English and so for a particular topic I might have students uh, think about their setback uh, anything that they have struggled with so that they can begin to engage the topic uh, through that lens so here is a sample prompt uh, and questions I would use Provide an example of a time when you were reaching towards a goal but encountered setbacks. What was the goal? What was the setback? How did you resolve the problem? Did you complete the goal? And usually when students respond to this particular prompt, is um, they tend to refer to their academic setback. So if they maybe took a course or something like that and they were doing well at the very beginning but then they encountered some challenges in the middle and then they might say well i did something else to um, resolve that issue the problem with that though is there was an initial goal that you set and hopefully you are setting goals uh, for anyone who is listening but there was an uh, initial goal. So for example, a student sets, sets a goal to pass the class with an A, right? And one setback could have been um, they didn't do so well on one test or one paper, which might make the goal a little less likely uh, to be achievable in terms of passing the course with an A. And so then they might say, well, um, for some people, it might be, well, I studied more and I got better grades on the subsequent tests and papers, and I was able to pass the course uh, with an A minus, right? Still an A, but it's an A minus. So their resolution to the problem was to study more, right? And so then you could say that person actually completed their goal. Some students might might begin with the with the same goal, um, but um, m might deviate in their way of resolving the problem. But the problem is, though, you want to make sure that whatever goal you set, for one, it can be achieved. You want to also take into consideration that there are setbacks that are already inherent in the goal, so you don't always need to pull at, at a distraction to to create a setback there are certain types of setbacks that are already inherent so for instance if the teacher tells you that she is going to administer a test on Wednesday right and you've already studied the previous week uh, she goes over uh, a review of the test on Monday but then there's a weather related issue which uh, closes down the campus and you can't take that test unless you are on campus well that's a that's an inherent setbacks because you can always have weather delays you can always have institutional issues there could be a technology issue uh, you know security uh, issue so that could always there's always some sort of inherent setback but if your initial goal is to study um, for a test and you don't study which creates a setback and you make a bad grade on that test then how you resolve the problem is still based on you studying for the test because that's where you missed it so then if you get a better grade after studying for the test you completed your goal so this is what I want you to think about as you uh, journal your setback. First of all, you need to know what type of setback you are in. Your setback could be emotional, romantic, financial, economic, spiritual, right? And, um, and 
think about the goal that you set initially. For example, if you wanted to uh, pursue financial wellness, right? Somehow there is a gap in your understanding about financial wellness, right? And that might be a little broad. You might have to make it a little more specific. I want to make sure that my uh, credit cards are paid on time every month. I'm not necessarily saying I want to pay the whole balance. I just want to make sure that I meet the minimum every month so that there is a record of credit engagement on my credit report until I can then work on paying them down, right? So that could be the uh, the initial goal. Well, we are all now entering or experiencing a setback as a result of the pandemic. So whatever money we get, we have to hold on to. Um, our basic necessities have to be met. That's just it. Your rent, your food, your shelter, your transportation, that, that has to be uh, uh, met. You cannot pay your credit cards over your rent. You won't have a place to live. So the setback is still financial. Uh, there may be reduced income. You may have to uh, choose certain things to pay. So you may not be able to resolve the problem within a time frame that you thought you could resolve the problem. So that creates an um, additional setback. And so uh, your completion of the goal might have to be after the pandemic and when jobs return and there is stability. So this gives you an opportunity to journal and think about uh, your setback uh, based upon that initial goal. And you have to stick to that goal. The goal that I gave you was financial wellness and we went into a specific about paying off, I mean, paying uh, credit cards at the minimum just to continue uh, a record of credit engagement. And then um, how, how we resolve the problem, uh, we don't necessarily resolve the problem with paying the minimum due for every card. So that's gonna create an additional setback right after that. But we could set a timeline for completing the goal once this global crisis ends, right? This pandemic issue ends, uh, jobs return, and we have a uh, steady, sustainable income. So journaling your setback, think about that time when you were reaching towards a goal but encountered setbacks. Do consider the obvious inherent setbacks within anything that you do. And then think about the timeline ahead because you wanna get out of setback. We don't wanna live in pandemic forever. We do want to get out of the, uh, out of the pandemic. Uh, whether there are still issues that are going on, we don't wanna live in you know, financial uh, destruction, you know, so to speak. So this is Overcoming Setback Inspiration. Journal your setback. Thank you for listening to this audio.